after five rounds fighting the type of fight that he fought, he wasn't even breathing through his mouth. A remarkably conditioned athlete. I'd have to say the same for Dennis Andres as well. The ability to take a punch comes from conditioning. You have to have a God-given chin. But at the end of the day, the ability to come back, the ability to have resilience, you mean these guys have put in tremendous amounts of time getting themselves ready for this fight. What's that elbow, I guess What's that elbow, paraphrasing that would be what Vince Lombardi said, fatigue makes cowards of us all. Your hands are free, right. up. No cowards today. What's that elbow, Dennis? What's that elbow? First time Jeff Hardy is laid on the ropes. His corner yelling, get off the ropes. Come on, work out of there. Come on, you your hands see, are free. He doesn't have the skill to turn his man, but he does have the strength to try to fight his way off. And he did so pretty effectively there. That big overhand right from Andres landed on the glove of Hardy. Jeff is, is still throwing punches and still landing punches. He looks a little bit slower right now. Neither one of these two the least bit hesitant to work the body when they're inside close. The other thing when you're in condition is you wait for second wins and third wins. They're the shoulder of Jeff Hardy. Yeah, and Joe Cortez gives him the warning. That's a good job by Cortez. It was obvious that Hardy cleared Andres off with a forearm. Good job there by Joe Cortez. As Dennis Andres started to hold the head of Jeff Hardy, he was working to the midsection of Dennis Andres, and Cortez let him continue to work. Sixth round is winding down. This fight scheduled for 12. If it makes it, we're halfway there. All right, time. At the halfway point, Dennis Andrews perhaps slightly ahead on points. We have it back here. Alan Minter, do you agree with that? Yeah, I think he's just slightly ahead. But um, what amazes me with Harding being that much taller, he's coming, he's coming very close to Andrews and throwing some tremendous body shots. But to the public who are watching it, they don't look like they're devastating punches, but they're hurting him. And for a man of that age, it must be weakening him. Harding certainly has uh, surprised us, hasn't he? Absolutely. He's, he's doing very well. Very well indeed. All right, Alan. Thanks very much indeed. Let's take the opportunity perhaps to go back to the corner there. That's Harding's corner. Let's hear what they're saying. Let's go now. Alex, I, I wasn't pushing the water, but now we got to pick it up a little bit now, okay? We got to pick it up now. All right, that's the sorry. Okay, we got to pick it up some now, okay? Why, man? Now, because now we're going into the last half of the fight now. Okay. And I got you losing the fight. You're losing right, your championship. Go. You're losing your title. You can't think about it when you get home. Second Throw the right side. hands lower. You're throwing them too damn high. Bring them down some. In the seventh round, we're started here in Atlantic City, and Alex, pretty funny words by Emmanuel Stewart in between rounds. Well, he told Dennis Andres, the champion, that you're losing the fight. Now, I question Emmanuel's sincerity in saying that, and I think that's motivational. He also said, you gotta pick up the pace. <laughs> and Dennis looked at him like, please, God. Emmanuel Stewart proving to be a tough man to please, telling his fighter to pick up the pace, and you're losing. The only round I've seen that Harding might have won would have been the third. Oh, good work inside by Jeff Harding. Oh, and again, the right gets over the top and lands by Andre. With all the punches they're throwing, their heads are also very close, doing some punishment, uh, causing some punishment uh, from time to time. <laughs> again, a reminder to everyone about our light heavyweight bout we've got coming your way tomorrow from this same ring. It's going to be Prince Charles Williams and Bobby Chez on our Slits Malt Liquor Professional Boxing Series. That'll be a rematch of their October 87 fight, 4.30 Eastern, 3.30 Central. Okay, okay, tomorrow okay, afternoon. Is, Dan, we didn't know what this fight would turn out to be because Harding was so unknown. We knew tomorrow's fight would be good because of the styles and the motivation of Chez and Williams in their rematch, but this fight we really weren't sure about. But Harding really has been as good or better than we could have ever dreamed. Working the uppercuts is Harding, and then the left counter gets in and lands on the ear, but neither one of these two fighters seems to have an impact on the other guy. And Alex, my ears can't be deceiving me. Those are solid blows. Yeah, sometimes you can land a lot of punches and wonder why the other guy doesn't go, and it's because the guy landing the punches doesn't have power. Both these men have proven power. Again, Jeff Harding on the ropes and showing an inability to get off. That's more or less a case of Andre just letting him off. Oh, 
That left eye on Harding is open again, and it may be open a little bit more on top this time. You've got to go back and reference what we were talking about earlier about Dennis Andres being 35 years old and potentially being even older than that, Alex, to keep up this kind of pace for a 12-round fight. Truly remarkable for a man of that age. There are people in England who say Dennis Andres is 40 years old. I mean, he just really is an amazing specimen. He's very dedicated and very, very determined. Draw a hot bath for these two. If this goes much longer, they've got to be hurting. Hi. That's your round. That's your round. This is the champions we have coming up. Are we the champion? How do you feel, Frank? I feel like a champ, Josh. All right, mate. You won't feel like a champion if you get here. Understand? Sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be the last one. We're going to be the last one. We're going to be the last one. Okay, mate. Every time it's in place, we're going to be the last one. How are you doing? We need these five now. You've got to take it. Take it right here, Jeff. Listen to that guy in green. You push his ass. All right, seconds out. Seconds out. Seconds out. And the bell sounds to get the eighth round started here in Atlantic City. This is the WBC Light Heavyweight Championship between Dennis Andres and Jeff Harding. I'm Dan Deardorff along with Alex Wallow, and this has been a fight, Alex. Not much on finesse, but a whole lot of toughness and a whole lot of great shots landed by both fighters. And both fighters have stood up to the shots the other man has landed. I mean, it's really been remarkable, especially Jeff Harding. It's hard to believe that this fight, with all the punches that have been landed, that this fight could go to a decision. Especially the body punches have been landed, like the ones that Harding just landed on Andre. You think they'd have a toll here in the later rounds that one of these guys, oh, you see Andre's there, touching his left eye like he thought he might have gotten cut. If it wasn't for the physical signs that this fight has gone this long in terms of the redness around the face of Harding and his cut eye, to look at these two fighters and the way they're moving and the way they're breathing, breathing you'd think this was four or five rounds ago. This is as much action as you will ever see with two guys of this size. Light heavyweights. If you joined us late, the pace you are seeing here in round number eight has not changed from the opening bell. This is actually a little bit low. There. Andres goes back on the ropes on purpose, stunned by a Harding shot. Andres trying to load up with a wild right that was easily blocked. And his combination gets between the clubs of Harding. And this is Jeff Harding's opportunity in this fight. Dennis Andres is not real hurt. He's still dangerous, but he needs a rest. And psychologically, Dennis Andres has to be saying to himself, I don't think I can take this guy out. I don't know if I can hit him hard enough to take him out. He may not stay that way, but for the first time in the fight, Dennis Andres actually looks discouraged. Well, and a good left-right combination from Harding, both on the chin of Dennis Andres. I think Harding can feel it. He's trying to turn it up a notch. Oh, work at it, work at it, work at it. Right from Dennis Andres that took him off balance. One of the signs that fatigue is beginning to set in. Are we reaching the point where the younger fighter has an advantage? I don't know. Four rounds scheduled. This bout's supposed to be 12. Round eight comes to a close. Eight rounds gone back here in London. Michael Watson, are you starting to see the tide turn against your friend Dennis Andrews? I think the longer the fight goes, the better it should work for